will start with a new document. Um, it's easier. And then the same image. So you can see it's um, it's on the back note. Um, and we have, uh, I'll show you, we have five degrees and minus degrees. So degrees is not the temperature, is a tilt uh, stage. So we moved the sample uh, with um, different position to see left and, and, and right. So just like we do with the eyes. So that from the two images, we can do some stereoscopic reconstruction. So, and still it's black and white. So I will show you how to do a 3D and I will show you how to have a nice picture also because that feature is uh, something I like. It's an image colorization. And it looks like Photoshop, okay, there is a paint and it's, it's basic, but that one contains some uh, segmentation, which is automatic. So it's very easy to create uh, some nice images with a background, with a green background, for example. And if you want to highlight like this, and if you want to highlight some particle in, in yellow, you can also use that color and say, I want to colorize oops, this, and this area, and this one, and this one, and this one. And back to green here, that's it. And even blue in this area here. So I'm doing it very quickly. I can fine tune and get a very nice uh, image so that you can win the contest at uh, some exhibitions. Here we go. And save, oops, sorry, and save the image. So back to the left and uh, right image here. If I go to operation, I have stereoscopy. So at this stage, the software wants to know which one is left, which one is right, because we have left and right. Ah, but in that case, we have up and down, actually. And which is the angle, the tilt angle. So the angle needs to be used on trick, so in the middle of the sample. And the software is trying to find out the, each point from one image to the other image. And based on the, on the distance between the two points, he will, the software will assume the, 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 the height. So you can see that result, straightforward. And we have a 3D. So I can even go on 3D if you, and say that, I want it with uh, different colors, the height, like this, so that we could calculate the roughness and so on. And I could even go back on here and say, I would like to substitute and use a colorized image here on top, on the topography. So that now the 3D view is going to be nicer. And still you can extract a profile and calculate, yes, roughness if you want, but also in that case, we wanted to know the step height here. And the software says the step height is so the zero is in the middle, but I could set the zero here so that it's easier to read. And the step is about, about eight microns.